Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I am a middle school teacher and today is gonna be set up day two. And yeah, I got a new haircut. I cut off seven inches and I love it. It feels so much lighter. You are. So it's just me and little one today. We're gonna get a few things done because tomorrow is our fifth grade orientation. And so in middle Tennessee, fifth grade is in the middle school. And we always like to do something for them before open house. So they're a little, they're calming their nerves a little bit more and just helping them feel a little bit more confident going in. So here we go. All right, so like before, I still have my to-do list up here and I can check this off because I have some file folders that I bought that are super cute. I'll show you in a second. Um, I will do this probably closer to when we, probably those first days back as first days back for teacher in-service days that I'll probably do those couple things. Um, and I'll probably put those up because our ladders aren't accessible right now. And clean desk, I might do that before I leave today. And these are the things that I needed. I got these. I haven't gotten decor for my doors yet, but that's what I have so far. So I found these adorable file folders at Walmart and they have pink, purple, and green. And so I put half of them over here at my absent file. So this is where a student will go if they are absent. So they'll go in my ELA class, they'll find their missing work. And usually I have a student put their name on it, whoever's absent, like that's their job. And they'll put it in here. So if it's my math class, they'll go here and grab their absent work there. So I have those, aren't they so cute? All right, so I also printed out at my house some of my labels for my drawers. So over here is my early finishers corner. And so I need to organize this, but this is like activities that they can do after they're done. Them kind of labeled here, but I wanted to make cute ones. So I found this on TPT, I'll link it below. And so I'm going to put them in the drawer labels. Thank you so much for those that gave out recommendations for these desks, <clears throat> because a lot of you said to anchor them with like the central hub of their textbooks and all that stuff, which I would put in the back. And I think with the layout, I can kind of anchor them to the tables because last year, the way I had it, it was just too cluttery. So I just kept them back there. But for each table, I have their own central hub, which will have their supplies, textbooks, workbooks, things like that. And so I have one for each table group. Now my rosters are already, like my biggest class is 26, 27. So I do need to add a table there and possibly a table back there. And that'll give me, I think 26, um, which should get me the first day of school to really see what my numbers are. Um, but that's what we're looking at with my tables with their, I just like to organize the workbooks instead of having them because they transition from different classes and I don't want them taking them home. So I like housing them here, but also the keeping them organized with their table. So it's easier and faster to save time from them like going to their homeroom to get their things. So I just like having the hubs there because it organizes it and it makes it very quick to pass out their stuff. So like the team captain that week will be in charge of getting their materials. So if I say, all right, get out your wonders workbooks, the team captain will grab their, wherever their section is, grab their workbooks and just hand them out to their table. And that saves so much time from them. Like if I house them here, like it just, I feel like this will save a lot of time. So, that's what we did so far. I'm not gonna do a whole lot organizational wise because I'm gonna save that for when my contract hours start. And then I'll actually organize like these cubbies and behind my desk, like how I want that to look like. But 
I do need to make some copies and I'll show you exactly what we're giving to parents. So if you have open house coming up, then this kind of gives you an idea, especially if you teach upper elementary or middle school, this might be able to give you an idea of what parents want to know. Um, because I'm a parent that have a fifth grader that has a fifth grader coming in. Can't believe it. I'll check back in when we go to the <clears throat> All right, so I'm walking up to the office to print a, a, couple, of, a couple of things for tomorrow's open our orientation. So So I'm gonna cover up important information that I don't wanna share, but we basically gave kind of a syllabus template, but information that we thought would be very important for them, that the parents would be probably overwhelmed with orientation tomorrow that they could take home and read, and just some pain points that we really want them to remember. And so we have a little section of welcoming grading, homework, rewards and consequences, but parent communication, like how we communicate with them, having them check their Snapchat folder every night, miscellaneous info, school hours, and then teacher emails. And so that's what they're getting tomorrow um, as they're walking into the gym and they can read it while they're waiting for the orientation to start. I'm also printing our school supply list. And here is a tip for you. So if you print a school supply list, if someone in, on your team is techie, have them make an idea list, not a wish list, an idea list on Amazon where you can populate everything you need in one location on Amazon because you know parents, like myself, would rather go on Amazon and purchase school supplies than go into a busy store like Walmart or Target and it's at their fingertips. So what I did, and I'll show you in a second, is create the list but also had a QR code that would send them to the idea list. Okay, so I found this template on Canva. You can easily select many different supply list options, but I chose this. What I did do different is, like I said, I put the QR code in for our an idea list on Amazon to where they will simply shop on one list and it'll go directly to their house. And then we added all of our things that we needed and then just needs if they want to pick up extra things. So they'll also be getting this tomorrow as well. So Joey got a little lopsided, but it worked two file to copy and then my focus class and then this is where I house all of my copies for the week and then we also did watch out bunny bunny hop the early finishers drawers so these are the sterilite three drawer and like I said I will put the TPT link below, but these are just some activities that you can be thinking of for early finishers. What they do love the most, they love the giant cards, which a deck of giant cards fits in the normal Sterilite bins, which is nice. And then their other favorite are these doodle searches, and I'll link that below because they, I bought the whole pack, and so they're seasonal, and then there's some, you know, random ones like this, and instead of word searches, it is a doodle search, and they are obsessed, and that is such an easy thing to print off. I always have lined paper in drawing paper, and then choice boards. I think I put, I think someone gifted these to me, so I'll have to find those. Um, those are word ladders that I haven't put in there, but word ladders are always good coloring sheets, word searches. I mean, things you can find on TPT for free that you can just print out that they can come and easily grab it when they're done. So I got these kind of binder ring clips that you can put. Oh, baby, that's too loud. Thank you. So they're called, and I'll link them below as well, but curtain rings with clips. And so I'm sure you've seen on like TikTok or TPT where you can run this ring mm -hmm. through and have two and you can just easily switch out your anchor charts. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Using the Amelia posters that she has for ELA, 
and this is what it looks like with the curtain rod that has magnets and then these rings that have clips on them so I can easily switch it out so my idea is to have the ELA one here and then or I might move there over there where it says read and I might put math over there and have the math anchor chart so I'm not sure I'll have to get another curtain rod which is fine they're pretty cheap so I think I might do that but I do like using that space as well all right I am going to stop the video here and get home and hopefully the next video will be more of a tour of the classroom because I'm pretty much set up except for a few organizational things and so I am going to try to resume my summer minus going to the orientation tomorrow because we go back next Friday. So today is July 20th. We go back the 28th, teachers do. And so my hope is after tomorrow's orientation, I can resume summer. I have two MRIs on Tuesday, so I'll be out of commission for that. If you don't know about my health story, um, I'll link the video bef below that explains all the things that are going on. So I'm getting a neck MRI and a brain MRI and they'll be Tuesday. So my plan is to rest on Monday, get the MRIs done, rest Tuesday, and really soak up the last couple days of summer and then head back into the classroom. And I am so excited, but there's also part of me where I'm like, man, the summer went fast. So comment below when you go back to school and like when you go back for in-service days or professional development, but yeah. Hopefully, like I said, the next classroom video will be the classroom tour. But yeah, thank you for following along. I, if you have any questions, let me know. I would love to help you. And if you saw anything and you can't find it in the links below, please comment and let me know. And I'll make sure to get that to you. Oh, and if you're not subscribed yet, um, I love getting new followers, especially at these videos. I know we get a lot more with classroom setup videos. So if you are new here, thank you for joining. It means so much to me and you help me support my family. And so if you're not subscribed yet, I would love for you to click that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up so other teachers can see it. Life can be messy, but there's always joy to be found. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, look. Riding through the sunset, got a couple bumps in the road and I'm probably gonna hit them, yes sir. Swerving all night, all the curves in the back roads, but we made it back home safe, yes sir. I'm up all night to the sunrise, making these hits like drumline. 24-7, I 